Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at the supplier quotation process in SAP s using Fiori. As you can see, I'm logged on here in the Fiori Launchpad and we will start by creating a new purchase requisition via the application called Manage Purchase Requisitions Professional. Click on this application. As always, you can only see this application if the relevant business role is assigned to your user. I will leave you the role in the description of this video. Also, you can check via this button over here and via the About section to end the application F2229. So far, so good. We will now click on Create to create a new purchase requisition. As you can see, you need to provide a description Right now it's filled here with some dummy information. I will just say test requisition like that. Then the document type we will leave to NB for now. So a normal purchase requisition. However, we could also create a framework order or an outline agreement. I have explained you how to create such a document type on your own in another video. I will just leave you the link in the description of this one. Then you can see a check mark for the automatic source determination so that the source of supply is derived automatically. However, in our quotation process, this does not make any sense because we are creating a quotation. So the source of supply is not known by us as of now. Let's scroll down a bit. We could provide some notes. And then here in the item section, we will provide a new purchase requisition item by clicking on create. We could choose between a material service or even items from a cost catalog search or an external catalog. For now, we will say material. And then we must provide some information. Let's derive most of the information from the material. So let's select the search help. We will just take here the high speed turbo pump. As you can see now, most of the information was filled accordingly from the material master, like the plant or the material group. Also the item description here was updated. So all of this is fine. We will not include the desired vendor as this is a supplier quotation process. Let's go to the valuation section. We need to give a valuation price, let's say 10 per unit. The account assignment section we will leave free for now. And then you can see here we have a source of supply section. Let's actually inspect the assigned source of supply button. And here you can see different sources of supply. Right now you can see no source of supply is proposed. This means that there is neither an info record nor a contract or a scheduling agreement existing for this material. For sure we could always choose a fixed supplier, but this does not make any sense in a quotation process. So for now we will click on cancel. Let's go to the contact information section. Over here we must fill the purchasing group. So let's select the search help and just choose a group. And that's basically it. We have some delivery address information. So where the data should be delivered to and notes and an attachment section. For now this is fine. We can click on apply. Now we are back here in the header section. There are no error messages anymore. So we will click on create. You can see now the purchase requisition was created. And here's the number of the purchase requisition. We will copy this number. Now let's go back and back again. And we are finished with creating the purchase requisition. I always advise you to check this application over here. Monitor purchase requisition items. I will quickly show you this application and then we continue with our process. So click on this one. We are talking here about the application called F2424. And here you have a good overview about all the purchase requisition items existing in your system. And they are actually clustered by the material group. Also further down, you can see the different purchase requisition items and even navigate into them. Let's actually quickly search for our purchase requisition item. So I will just insert our purchase requisition over here and change the company code and also the currency and then hit on go. And now if we scroll further down, we can already see the position we created and we can even inspect the details via this button over here. So far so good. Also quite important over here is the release status. So it's already released. However, there could be a workflow in your system so that the purchase requisition must be released by another person first. Let's go back and back again and now we will click on this application called Process Purchase Requisitions, formerly Manage Purchase Requisitions. Click on this one. Now it's time to create a request for quotation. So as always, let me just quickly display you the ID of this application, F1048, also as of S4HANA 2023 version. There is this new version of this application called F1048. A. Let's actually insert here our purchase requisition number and you can see the system found our purchase requisition. We will mark it like that and then we will click on create request for quotation. Over here we must first choose a request for quotation type. Let's actually inspect the drop down menu. 
you can see there are different sources. So either this is an external sourcing requisition, meaning that in this case, the request for quotation will be sent to the so-called SAP Ariba system. So another solution of SAP where it is published in the Ariba network. Then we have the internal sourcing requisition. So in this case, we will create our requests directly in the SAP S4HANA system and send them to the suppliers via email. Or we have the external price request where we only want price and quantity information or shipping costs for the desired material, which is then also processed via the so-called Ariba network. For now, we will say internal sourcing requisition. We need to provide a name, let's say RFQ pump, a submission deadline. So up until when our suppliers are able to hand in their offers. And then we must provide the purchasing organization and the company code is derived automatically from this purchasing organization. Let's go to the bidder section. Here we must choose all the bidders who should participate in the offering. So click on the plus symbol. We will just select two bidders who are business partners, then click on select. By the way, I have a whole playlist about business partners. I will leave you the link in the description of this video. And over here in the item section, you can see our item that we created with the purchase requisition before. Now we will click on publish. Small pop-up window appears. We will click on publish again. You can see the request for quotation was published and sent to our suppliers. We will click on OK. By now we created the purchasing requisition, inspected the items and also processed the purchasing requisition by creating a request for quotation out of the purchase requisition. Let's go back. Next off, we will click on manage request for quotations. As always, let's quickly inspect the ID of the application. It's F2049. We will search here for the request for quotation we created and you can see it appears over here. Now it's time to actually process this request for quotation. So we will click here on the arrow. Here you can see the general information. Then we have the delivery payment terms section and then quite importantly the bidder section. So now let's imagine that the two bidders we have over here already provided their quotation. So their offer to deliver us the product. Then it's time to create the quotation and store it in the system so that later on we can compare the two quotations and decide for one of the suppliers. So as you can see, I selected the supplier and now we click on create quotation. Lots of information was already copied. We will select here first of all the follow on document type. So we will say that later we want to create a normal purchase order out of this quotation. We could also choose a quantity or value contract. I explained you the contract process in another video of mine. So I will just leave you the link in the description of this one. Make sure to check it out after this one. So click on standard PO, quotation submission date. Then we have a delivery and payment terms section. For now, we will leave it as is. However, you could store some delivery and payment information. The item section, here we can say that this particular supplier offers us for a quantity of 10 pieces. So the amount we actually demanded and net order price of, let's say eight. We have a notes and attachment section as well as approval details, but here is no workflow. Click on create. You can see the object was created. We can go back. Let's go to the bidder section again. Take the second bidder, create quotation. The follow on document type again will be a standard PO. The submission date will be the same. Let's directly go to the item section. And here we will now say this supplier will provide us 10 pieces for a price of nine. So one euro more expensive per piece than the other one click on create. You can see the object was created as well. Let's now go back and inspect the other tabs, output details. This is just displaying how the mails were sent to our supplier. Let's inspect the quotations. Here we can see the quotations we created. So quite conveniently, we can see that here supplier one offers the product for a total net value of 80 and supplier two for a total net value of 90. We have some legal transaction sections and we created two biddings, one for each supplier. They have the status in preparation as you can see. So now let's imagine that the deadline for quotations is done and we need to decide for one of these suppliers. So now we can click on one of the quotations over here, then navigate to manage supplier quotations. And you can see we are forwarded to the application supplier quotations. It has the ID F. 1991. And as this supplier is cheaper than the other one, we will now click on submit. And last but not least, we will click here on award to state that we accepted this quotation over here. Now you can see here the status changed to awarded. And that's basically it. Let's go back. 
And now here in the process flow section, we can see that we awarded one of our suppliers. For the other one, to complete this, we will navigate into the quotation, first submit it, and then we will click on complete. By the way, let's inspect here the search help. You can see that once we awarded the best quotation, this quotation receives the status awarded, and this is what we have seen before for the other quotation. And quite importantly is that all other quotations for the same request for quotation must be set to the status completed. Otherwise we can't close the corresponding request for quotation. So this is why we set it here to complete it. Let's go back and go to the process flow again. We can see the bidding part is now done. One was awarded and the other one was completed. Now the last step will be to create the actual purchase order. So therefore we go back to the start screen by clicking on the SAP symbol. Unfortunately, we can't use the new application called manage purchase orders to create a purchase order out of a quotation. Let me quickly show you where this is the case. If we click here on the create button and then just navigate to the item section and click on add from document, you can see we can only create the purchase order out of another purchase order, an info record, a purchase contract or purchase requisition, but not a quotation. So this is why I cancel for now and we go to the application ME21N, also called create purchase order advanced. Here we insert our supplier to whom we granted the quotation then we provide the purchasing organization, purchasing group and company code. And then over here in the item section, scroll to the right up until we can find the request for quotation field. Let's quickly display our request for quotation again. So here you can see the overview screen again. And what we need to do right now is we need to insert those quotation numbers. So not the request for quotation number over here, but the real quotation numbers you can see over here. Let's actually first insert the quotation number where we did not award the quotation so that I can show you something. We go to the purchase order again and over here we insert the wrong number first and hit on enter. You can see that the system displays an error message saying that only supplier quotations with the status awarded are allowed here. So we need to choose the other quotation which was the one with the number 27 in the end. Hit on enter and now you can see that all the information was filled accordingly out of the quotation, such as the quantity, the material, short text and so on. Also, the net price we agreed upon. So this is fine, we can now save the purchase order via the save button. And the standard purchase order was created successfully. Okay, this marks the end of this video. I hope you liked it, it took a lot of effort. So I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where I post lots of configuration documents for free. And there's also a chat where we can discuss different topics. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.